Good evening everybody, I was going to go live but it seems to be a problem with YouTube uh, every time I want to go live, they, anyway, besides that. Um, tonight I want to talk about what is happening in South Africa and the truth, not the lies from the government, but the truth of what's really going on in South Africa. Can you imagine every day living on a farm? Knowing that at any minute during the day and night you can be attacked because of the color of your skin and because the government says it's okay and because the government also says that if you protect yourself they'll arrest you for murder and you have a gang of men come to your house, tie you up, cut your eyelids off and make you watch your children and your wife be raped. Some as young as two months old, three years old, a month old. It doesn't matter. Eighty-year-old woman laying on the bed while she watch him cut the husband's throat open. Wives worried that their husbands, when they go out into the fields, may never come back. In this last week, we've had 11 farm attacks in South Africa and two murders. Umpteen rapes. And the South African president, Mr. Ramaphosa, the snake, who wrote a document in 1993 stating that they, he would boil the white people in South Africa like frogs, never knowing they'd be dying. He is now trying to justify the fact that the farmers are the ones that are racist people who are actually feeding his nation so that they can steal the land like they did in Zimbabwe, only to let the people starve. This same Ramaphosa, who only was able to become a billionaire because of white people, he sits there today, shaking hands with Soros. People are starving in that country, and he's blaming it on white people. Let me paint you a scenario. They have walls all the way around their houses. They have bobbed wire on the top. They have electric fences. They have dogs. They have cameras. They have alarm systems. But these people are not stupid. They cut the electricity. Now you're in the dark. You can't call your next door neighbor on the phone. The phone's dead. They're using military sound jamming equipment so you can't use your cell phones. You can't use your radios. And they shoot through the windows. Hit your kill children. Shoot your husband while he's looking through the window to see what's going on. Many of them don't sleep at night. One is on watch and the other one sleeps. One's on watch and the other one sleeps. And then one has to go out at four in the morning to pick to start work in the fields. Some of them come home and they're never sure what they're going to find. And the president of South Africa told the international communities that there is no such thing going on. He's an absolute liar. There's 140 or 64 laws that discriminate against white people now. In South Africa, he reiterated the same thing again the other day, stating they will make it even worse now for white people. You see, all lives matter. Everybody's a human being. And since 1990, there has been no apartheid in South Africa. So every child born in that country, no matter irrespective of color, was never, never grew up in apartheid. They actually grew up under a black rule. So after 30 years, you're still blaming white people. There used to be 60,000 commercial farmers in South Africa. There's maybe, maybe 30 left. Because once they kill the farmer, nobody wants to be there. Once they raped this family, they devastated. The land goes to hell. Did you know it takes 25 years to get rid of thorns? Once the thorn bushes come, it takes 25 years to get rid of them so you can grow crop. And it only takes one year to get the thorns back. The land reform in South Africa, people don't understand. 
There is no titles. The government will not give these people titles because they do not own the land. The banks own the land. So why are they murdering the farmers? Julius Malema and his crew boast about it. Boast about the, the, this uh, EFF, the political party. They boast about killing white people. Black land first are openly calling for the killing of white people, women and children and their pets. The denial of the government in South Africa is emboldening the criminals and killers to go to those farms and kill the farmers and rape their families. Just the other day, a farmer was taking his daughter to school. He'd taken her to school since she was born. She was 15 years old. They stopped him on the side of the road. They attacked him. And he fought them. And they killed him. And then they gang raped his 15 year old daughter while he was watching and dying. My anger is real. We need to place economic sanctions on South Africa. The United States has given this country. $9.4 billion plus since the early 90s. They have voted 90% against, South Af against the United States in the UN. They support Iran. They're actually buying their oil. They're actually storing their oil there. They are actually supplying Iran with diesel. They gave, and you can look this up on the internet, they gave Iran 13 tons of gold when the United States placed economic sanctions on them and froze all the accounts. These are facts. The South African government is trying to justify the, the, the marginalization of all whites in South Africa. But in 1994, the international communities all came together and praised Mandela and this terrorist organization he belonged to, the National African National Congress. Since then, more than three quarters of a million people have died from murder, rape, torture, you name it, unspeakable things. The death rate of whites now in South Africa is close to 80,000. More people die in South Africa every day than the pandemic we have today of COVID-19. Approximately 60 people die a day, murdered, murdered in South Africa. And the government denies it. We must remember that during history it repeats itself. Every single African country in the continent of Africa has collapsed because of corruption because of communism, because of socialism and greed. This is happening yet again. And we stand back and let it happen until it's too late. I can guarantee you if the European countries and the United States and countries like Canada, and England, Greece, Turkey, all these other countries, Russia, Georgia opened their doors. Every single white person in that country would leave. They just want peace. There's 1.2 million squatters now. Out of 3 million white people. They were productive people. They have been denied access to any work. They cannot support their families. They are now killing the food supply of the country. You have to realize, and I've said this a million times, should the food source in South Africa collapse, you are going to have a massive humanitarian crisis of epic proportions because that is the food chain for the rest of Africa. Now, while we sit in the United States in our comfortable houses and watch our soaps and watch our shows and laugh and Know your kids on iPads and go to good schools. You can drive cars and know they're coming home. And yes, there is crime in America. But imagine that your children have to be locked up every night in cages. Barbed wire around your house. Steel bars on the windows. 
Steel bars on the doors inside their bedrooms. Steel bars on the front doors and back doors. And it doesn't stop them. They come through the roof. They poison the dogs. They cut the electricity. They will do anything and everything to get to you. In almost every single farm attack, there was an insider. Almost 99%. The farm workers are threatened by these people that come there. And they tell them they will kill their families if they don't tell them how to get into this farm to kill these people. And many times, many, many times. They will take the farmer's car, take his TV and everything else. And you'll find their car abandoned up the road. Not very far. Because they're not there for the stuff. They're there to kill the white people. They're there to kill the farmers. And it's not only the whites. Many of the black farmers that are out there are very, very vulnerable because they have money. So they kill them. Or they take their money. Or they threaten them. And what does the government do? Nothing. And when they do take farms from white people or productive farms, the farms collapse overnight because the government won't give them training. They won't give them farm equipment. They won't even loan them money. Farms collapse. They don't work. There's no management skills. There's no idea. These South African farmers can make rocks grow. They understand the soil. They don't need to go to school. They just have a natural ability to grow food. And they love it. It's their life. It's their blood. It's what they are. Now you tell yourself something. Imagine being born into South Africa during apartheid. And you know nothing. You child. You don't know nothing. You could be a white child, you could be a black child, you could be an Indian child or a colored child. It doesn't matter what kind you are. You remember, there is no TV. There is no internet. There's a couple of newspapers, if you can afford it. If you can afford a radio. And in those days, most of the time, it was football, music, Drama shows, that kind of thing. Everything was controlled. The post office was controlled by the government. The airlines were controlled by the government. Everything was controlled by the government. Until you get older and understand the difference between what is true and what is not true. What people don't realize is apartheid wasn't put in South Africa by the Dutch. It was put in there by the British. During British rule, the class rule. No matter what black people think in South Africa, the British put apartheid there. Now the, the premise now, everybody wants to blame, 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 blame. But I'm going to tell you something. You can take the stats. You can call me a liar. You can call me a racist. But facts are facts. I have some very, very good black friends who do not like what's going on in South Africa. They do not like the corruption. They do not like the fact that the ANC have sat on their fat, lazy asses for 26 years and done nothing for the South African people. Sat in Parliament, screaming at each other, acting like clowns, picking their noses, and I mean literally picking their noses during the session, and have done absolutely nothing other than trying to marginalize white people, find a way to steal everything that's not tied down, including the reserves, the drought re relief funds, the anything they can, any bids that go out goes to their friends and their families. And they have destroyed the economy completely. Now during apartheid, from 1948 to 1990, when they banned apartheid or removed it, there was only 22,000 murders political and murders. Most of them were black on black violence because of faction fights and fights between political parties like the IFP and the ANC. And South African government doing hits and military operations. 
since then. These are UN stats, not my stat. 2012, there was half a million murdered. Do you know that they have an infant rape rate? They have a granny rape rate. They have a girl rape rate. They have a teenage rape rate. That's disgusting. Farmers are dying every single day in South Africa and the South African government's denying it. They're saying it's a lie. How do we justify in the United States that we're sending them billions of dollars to enable them to kill people, to reinstate apartheid again, there is only one race on this, in this world. That's the human race. If you want equal rights, you must not reference color. I'm sorry, but I disagree with what people are saying today. I've never been given white privilege. I've had to work my ass off all my life to get what I have. And nobody gave me no handouts. In the United States today, anybody can do anything no matter who you are. They can become the president of the United States. Because we've had a black one. We had senators, doctors, lawyers, accountants, technicians, managers. You can be anything you want. So stop lying. You don't want the police to shoot you? Don't fight them. If you believe Everything you hear, it's all a lie. The black people in South Africa have been lied to by their own government. They're killing white people to take the land for who? My question is who? They're selling the mineral rights of South Africa to the Chinese who give, they don't care about the people. They are allowing China to push goods through the South African harbors so they don't have to pay U.S. tariffs. They're pushing massive drug trade through there that's coming to our country. This same government supports Iran. It has Hamas, Al-Qaeda and ISIS camps right inside the country. Some of them in military camps like Youngsfield and Flock Pass. And they're killing people every single day and denying it internationally. No international investor should in his right mind put money in South Africa. I'm calling for international sanctions on South Africa. And I want to stop all aid, our tax money, our U.S. tax money that is going to this country. And they vote 99% against us in the U.N. In fact, they threatened us in Venezuela with military action. They're constantly criticizing President Trump. They have CNN down there. And there we go. There comes Obama. He's down there. Oprah Winfrey. Soros. Bill Gates. And all these characters that are down there causing all this havoc. Why? And not one of them, even Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, not one of them condemned the fact that one woman is raped every single day. Actually, one every minute. As young as a day old. And as old as a hundred years old. They don't care. They murder babies. They murder people. They torture them for hours and hours. Listen, if you want to steal somebody's land... Put them in their car and send them away. But why do you torture them for hours and hours and hours? Blow torches, drills in their legs, pour hot water down their throats, wrap their heads in towels and pour hot water over their heads. This is what these people are going through. 
and it has to stop. And we all know, should these white people rise up and start a civil war, you're going to say they're racist, they're right-wing, KKK, whatever. No. They are trying to survive, just like the black people in America are complaining about Black Lives Matter. These people are going through the same thing. Was it their problem that the government did what they did way back 30 years ago? Those same government people that live very rich today. Those same government people that forced the white people to go to military training for two years or go to jail. And now they have a new government there that has not built new schools, new, new clinics, new roads, new nothing, but took the Billions of rands that we gave them for COVID-19, kept the money, bought a bunch of 911s and Porsches and all these other stuff. Nine new cars, all brand new that came from our tax money. And this is a fact. And then denied white people food aid during this pandemic. There's something wrong with this picture. This is the hawk. I want you to look on YouTube. I want you to look all over YouTube and all over the internet at the farm murders in South Africa. Do your own research. You want pictures? I have thousands of pictures. My email is in the description in this video. My email is in the description below. Email me and I'll send you a silent video that was banned on YouTube. It almost got me cut off completely. It will explain in detail what you are not seeing. But do your own research and realize the United States is emboldening this country by giving it billions of dollars in aid. And they are not our friends. They are the most racist country, corrupt country in the entire world today. And we must not help them. Please support my channel to get this message out. Anybody knows, knows President Trump, please give him the message. I don't care who you are, Democrat, Republican, whatever. Let them know, why are we giving these people money to kill people? These people can't even defend themselves. They're taking their guns from them. And they're threatening them. That if they defend themselves, they will arrest them for murder. That's just insane. If we want to talk about human rights, we must understand that everybody has a right to live in peace and harmony. And it's not all the black people in South Africa. They're just trying to survive too. It's a certain element. I would like to hold the entire EFF, the ANC, and Black Land First. And and most of the ANC hierarchy for corruption and human rights violations. Because in the end, they will be held responsible for what happens here. There are other black, moderate, conservative politicians out there waiting to come in, take over, and actually do the right thing. We need to put a non-racist political system in place in South Africa that removes this socialist communist nonsense and replaces everything with non-racist ideas. Bring massive investment into the country and rebuild it as an example for the rest of Africa. But the way it's going right now, people will starve. There's a genocide going on in South Africa and it needs to stop. And I need your help. Please support my channel. There is a donation link there. This is to help people get food. And if they're battling, somehow help them. Last year I sent a bunch of my own money to try and get help farmers to, to grow fields of food. We need to do this again. Help me help them. Sign my petition for sanctions. 
With a million signatures, we can change this mess. Somehow, we got to do something. We can't step back and let this happen anymore. This is the 21st century. We cannot look away. The internet has opened our eyes to everything. Don't look away because it's just not cool. Step up and help me fight this mess. I need the world on my side. I don't need an army with guns up being there. It doesn't work. Politicians screw it up. I've been in too many wars to know that you, nobody wins. The only way you win is with the mind. It's changing people's minds and their aspects or their perceptions of what is really going on. And tell the truth. Stop lying. Stop lying. It's not apartheid's fault that the mess in South Africa is the way it is. It's the government's fault. Because they did not build it so nobody came. So they blamed. Now you have a bigger mess. And people are dying now. People are starving. People are getting murdered and raped and tortured. And that has to stop. This is the whole come out of here. To all the South Africans there, please stop killing one another. Help one another survive this. And get rid of this ANC government. They are not your friends. They already sold you to the Chinese. They sold you to the devil. Look to what is real, not false promises. And stop looking at one another with a color. You were all born in Africa and you're all Africans. This is a hawk, I'm out of here.